How's it coming, dear? Uh, I know it must be hard going through Grandma Kathy's stuff. Anything you want. It's yours. Okay. Change. Vietnam was heating up and the nation marched on Washington. Schools were integrating. The Beatles had landed. Oh, we had credit cards and color TVs and a new doll named Barbie. But while the times were a changing, nobody knew just how quickly they could change. And nowhere was that more true than Attaway. My family had lived in Attaway ever since my great, great, grandfather opened the first auto plant in 1897. By the time I was born, we owned half the town and employed most of it. We were the Fitzroys, unofficial royalty, which of course made me the prince. I had everything and knew nothing. Well, next to nothing. What I had learned was how little I knew about those closest to me. And how little I knew about myself. Joe, you're gonna be late. Joe's family had been in Attaway almost as long as mine. But our circles rarely overlapped. Get your hopes up, kiddo. Your Uncle Bobby never stays long. Sure. Better to be hopeless. Where's Junior? He's opening the diner. He's gonna start working morning shifts before school. I still don't see why I can't help out. I've got nothing but time. Plus, I'm way stronger than he is. We may not be the fanciest family in Attaway, but I'm not so poor as I have to send my daughter to work. You just stay out of trouble. That's a full-time job. God, it's what, 8 a.m. and that skag's already reading. Who? Joe? Yes. Ew. Watch this. Oh, Florence, don't. Hey, Joe! Hey, wait up. Let me help you. Oh, golly. What's your problem? <laughs> Welcome back to school. 